Salford 10k then this morning so a race that I first did in 2014 so it's my 10th year here at Salford 10k um, disregarding the the couple of years it were cancelled during a uh, peak COVID um, so yeah 10 years here uh, had some good performance and some bad um, so yeah looking forward Salford to it today 10k then is a race that I've done every year since 2014 now first set in a time of 37.47 and a PB at the time on the course at Salford it's a super flat course um, and usually attracts quite a fast field, um, especially for the area. Manchester, North England, we are fast anyway. We're a lot quicker than then Southerners. But it does attract quite a fast field for the area um, and you're lucky if you break top 10. I think the course records around 28 or 29 minutes, which shows how quick it is. Um, and, and the female course record is around 32, 30 as well, which again shows how quick it is. Um, I've had some really good runs at here, here at Salford. I think my PB on the course, course PB, is 32.51. Um, and Naomi's also had some good runs here. She ran 38.30ish uh, last year for a PB at the time, but she's in a lot better shape right now. Um, the course itself is two laps, um, two equal laps, so both measure roughly 5k, um, and, and you start and finish in pretty much the exact same spot. The temptation is always to go off too fast here, so it's perfectly flat, there's about 30 foot of elevation for the full thing. Um, it's shielded by the wind, um, there's not much, uh, there's not many turns in it, so it is quite easy uh, to go fast. Uh, today, target for me is to try and split the first lap in, in 16 minutes and then see what I've got left in the tank to try and get underneath that sub 32. Um, got 32 or 3, my current PB at Doncaster. Um, and see, see how I get on there at uh, Salford today. Uh, I'm knee deep in marathon training, so anything could happen and my legs could either be with me or without me. Uh, Naomi's got a similar target. She's hunting a PB, but again, she's knee deep in marathon training as well. So I'll let her tell you a little bit more about that. But yeah, looking forward to Salford 10k. The last couple of years, I've not had the best of runs here, but it's always been knee deep in marathon training for me. So yeah, looking forward to it today uh, on the two lap course. Turn to the third year, uh, just gonna go through what I've ran before and where I feel I'm at and see, uh, see how it goes. So I first ran it in 2022 and I did a four seat 56, I believe that was a PB at the time. Um, I then ran a 38.52 last year and again that was a PB at a time so a big two minute chunk off there um, my PB at the moment is 36.08 um, so that would be <coughs> uh, two minutes well, more, more than two minutes faster than what I've run at Salford I don't particularly like the course um, it's very very flat i don't like flat courses as a general and then it's two laps and um, so it gets in your head a little bit because you know exactly where you are and what's going on and how far there is left it really plays with my head um, but yeah i'm hoping to match my pb i do feel in good shape but and i have tapered for this one um, i've got a big weekend of miles with a couple of races coming up back to back so i do feel like if the stars align i could have a good race don't feel bad this morning at all but i am quite optimistic um, i do feel the pressure a lot more now because well i see a lot of people saying they feel like imposter syndrome when they think about the races they're going to do and the times they put out and I was saying to Hannah um, on Thursday like three years ago, two years ago I was doing speed sessions and my speed work was seven minute miles um, and now I'm coming out and doing a 10k and potentially trying to aim for 5.45 pace um, so the nerves are there not because it's a massive race and the pressure's on it's more that I still don't quite believe that that's the speed I can run at. Um, it's quite a shock to the system. I've put a lot of hard work in in the last what, four or five months, but I still don't don't quite believe that that's where I'm actually at. Um, so I'm still proving it to myself as well.
I might say I've tapered for this race but in reality I've got one eye on a marathon London marathon and really all it means I did was I ran less yesterday I did 10 mile instead of the usual 20 so yeah my legs are a little bit tired this morning but I'm hoping a little bit of a warm up a little piece them off so yeah just using today as a bit of a I'd say a tune up uh, towards London Marathon um, finding my legs ability to run fast sort of fast um, especially whilst they're tired and fatigued from all the heavy mileage lately Dom dom dom! Right, you did. No, I've just done a mile while they were tired. What is it? It is. 9 4. Oh, I might as well get five minutes then. So, kit on, uh, numbers on, we're in match, we're matching. matching outfits today. Cute, innit? So, yeah, Salford 10k, we're at, we're, we've done as warm up, I've done 5k, Naomi's done the longest ever warm up here, haven't you? Five miles. 1.5 miles for Naomi this morning so yeah breaking the bank um yeah so we're, we're just about to we've been to the toilet and everything got her shoes on I've got a new pair of alpha fly uh, not alpha flies That's I wish me. Naomi's got a new pair of alpha flies on I've They're got a, a new pair of vapor flies um today the vapor flies have been in like my shoe storage for ages um Naomi probably bought hers last week no, they've been under the bed for like a year and a half. Yeah, whatever. Uh, but can't get older. I'm on my last pair of Alpha Flies that are new at the minute. Um, so I had me sweating last night. So I've been looking around on all reselling websites. See if I can get hold of a pair of Alpha Fly V1s. So if anyone knows anyone that's a size 10. Um, brand new. Brand new. With no scuffs on them. I'll snap them off your hands. Um, for a reasonable price. I'm not paying 300 quid like I've seen some. Um so yeah Salford 10k we'll see how we get on this morning good Friday it's a rare Friday race uh, probably one of the only Friday races that we do all year unless we end up at even splits York 5k um, so yeah see how we get on um, it's quite a fast field usually as I've previously mentioned so yeah it might might be stacked today see you in a bit bye
well finished. Back in his matching tops. Feeling friends. Yeah, um, boyfriend and girlfriend now. Um, so yeah, Salford 10k done. On, in my head, I don't think it was faster field as previous years. Mainly because I finished fourth um, and Naomi finished third. It's nothing to take away from us, like as positions, but. Four minutes off the female class record. Yeah, so it just didn't feel like as fast a field as previous years anyway. It was very windy between mile, yeah, probably about 1k to 3.5k ish, um, and that's where I sort of lost it in the second lap. Um, I think it was just wind fatigue. Ended up setting off out in front, um, and we're leading the pack probably for the first. 2k um, and then I let them go past me which probably shouldn't have done but it was a little bit too quick for what I wanted um, but yeah enjoyed it, we're nice to turn the legs over in marathon training it has been course PB so I ran 32.18 on my watch which is a course PB by about 33 seconds or something like that um, but yeah it's not a overall 10k pb uh, was quite confident this morning of being able to break 32 um went through the first lap in 15 58 or 16 minutes what they shouted me out on the gun so yeah not too shabby and then just obviously the second lap i lost 10 seconds a mile mile four and five which ultimately cost me that sub 32 It's got you, honestly. It's got me. Just said I didn't realise it was this windy. Like when you were racing, you could tell it was windy. But this is really windy. I can feel it more now. Definitely. But it was definitely in race zone. Couldn't tell it was this windy. How many times can you say windy in a sentence? About 18. <laughs> <coughs> And whilst you're watching the video, if you have enjoyed watching so far, and you do enjoy watching this channel, don't forget to like and subscribe, because it really does help the channel out, and helps grow it so more people can see the journeys that we're on, and someone else might pick up a tip or two. Which way do I hold it? That way. <laughs> so I've just ran a course record, but... A course personal record. That's what I meant, a course personal record, you understand. Um, but it's probably the first time uh, in at least a year that I've not run an overall PB. Um, and do you know what? I don't feel good. <laughs> I love a good PB. Um, but just not there at the moment. Very tired legs, even though I've not done very much. Oh, there's a little doggo. Hi, sorry. Um, yeah, tried to tape her for today because I've got a club duathlon tomorrow and then a long run on Sunday. So just shows how tired my legs are that even though I've not done that, that much this week I've still struggled I set off at the pace I thought I could hold and I held it for two miles um, 
and I did average only five five seconds a mile slower than what I wanted so it wasn't too drastic and for a 10k PB after the marathon uh, see how, marathon legs. yeah rest my legs up for a bit and maybe drop distance in training aim for some shorter stuff and see what I've got but I'm happy with a course PB my niggles not hurting um, so we keep going a long run in two days Juniors. Yeah, so went to the presentation and now on the remainder of my cool down. Found a nice bit of gravel and mud. Um, alongside the river so yeah really enjoyed it this morning nice to turn the legs over um, not too miffed off really with my time um, it's probably realistic um, to say I'm knee deep in marathon training as I mentioned before the race um, Naomi's not really miffed off either she quite enjoyed it and she's scooped up third so yeah she's done really well um, and she'll be proud of it when she sits down later tonight so yeah that's another Salford 10k done the 10th year that I've done it uh, been here every year since 2014 and I'll probably be back next year as well I enjoy it because it's Salford areas that organise it it's a running club um, and it's not a big like commercial organiser that's in it to make money um, it's a running club doing it to put an event on for the area of where they're from and where they're proud of Yeah, so cheers for watching this week. Thank you for joining us on as a Salford adventure. And I'll uh, see you next week when we will be two weeks out from London Marathon and getting ready to rock and roll towards us taper. This week we're three weeks out. Easy maths, that ain't it. So thank you. Bye.